A cold evening, rare this winter. I will make a trampoline to cover the net that I made last time. I will use our household machine and the Drelon fabric to make the trampoline. I fold the cloth to make an 8 cm wide and 3 layer thick edge. I will use these edges to support the eyelets. Time to get the machine up and running. I start slowly using a 3 stitches seam which is strong and flexible. Finish with the long sides, now the shorter ones. Also here I fold the fabric into three layer edges. Almost directly the needle bend. Six layers of fabric is too thick. Luckily, changing needle is quick. Threading the thread is not so quick, even with my inbuilt magnifiers as eyes. Now I continue by hand. When I'm out of the thick area, I can use the motor again. In the end of the edge, I have to use the hand rolling again to get the, the wheel rolling smoothly. Back in the garage I start to mark where to put the eyelets. I make holes for the eyelets. Now I mount the eyelets. This is fairly quick work. Outside I try the trampoline to the cross beams.
When trying the trampoline with my own weight, some eyelets breaks. The holes for the eyelet has weakened the fabric and uh, I have to figure out something else. Untying the trampoline. And removing the broken eyelets. I use a zigzag seam around the holes to strengthen them. Here I use a glue, perfect for cloth. Maybe it's named contact adhesive, but I'm not sure what it is in English. Please tell me. It is very messy, just like snot. I try to remove the excess of the glue before pressing the eyelets. Together with the seam and the glue, the fabric will be strong enough. A piece of paper keeps the glue out of my tool. Here we go again. Now with rubber lines to hold the fabric in place.
bowline. And another bow line. At the second try of my own weight, the fabric holds, although I will need to tension the net under a bit. I think this will do.